In this video you will learn what is Versal, what benefits it has and how to deploy to Versal. So what is Versal? This is a serverless platform, which actually means this is some service that you can use to deploy your application to production without learning anything about servers or DevOps engineering. So the main goal of the Versal is to help you deploy your application without any knowledge in seconds. The next question is obviously why Versal is that popular, and actually because they created Next.js, and as they created this framework, lots of people used that, and in the documentation you can see links to the Versal itself, where they promote deploying Next.js applications in seconds to production. And this is why all these people used Versal to deploy their Next.js projects to production. But Versal is not only about Next.js, you can deploy any popular framework with it. For example, you can take Next.js or plain React or Angular project or Vue and deploy it to production. Versal is focused on the frontend, which actually means we're deploying their static, but it is also possible to deploy their servers, like for example your Express project built with Node.js. And additionally, you can spin the a database also in a matter of seconds. And also, I need to mention that if you are using Next.js and server-side rendering, Versal supports it out of the box. And the last question to answer before we start deploy to Versal is about pricing. I'm sorry for interruption, but I just want to let you know that I have lots of advanced courses on different web technologies where we create real applications and prepare for the interviews. You can find the link in the description box below. Now let's jump back into the video. As you can see here we have different tiers. It is Hobby, Pro and Enterprise. And I can say that using Hobby tier is an extremely good idea and I highly recommend that. Because you are paying zero there and you are getting quite a lot of stuff out of the box which is suitable for your small hobby projects and even for the project with users where you don't have lots of traffic. The only thing to remember is that inside Versal you can't create a website which earns money on the free tier. You can do that only on Pro tier, which actually means if you want to create a blog with AdSense or you want some e-commerce shop or you want to sell something, you need to pay at least for the Pro tier. It is forbidden inside Versal to do such stuff on the free tier. And as you can see on the free tier, we are getting 100 gigabytes of traffic, which is enough for a small project. But here on the Pro tier, which costs $20, you can see that you are getting 1 terabyte of traffic, but you are paying $40 for extra 100 gigabytes, and it is quite a lot. With that being said, let's jump to deployment. When you first register an account inside Versal, you can see such profile. As you can see, I don't have any projects, and I can click on different links to set up a project like Vite, Svelte, Next.js or Nuxt. We can also take different templates or create a new project here. We don't want to do that at all, because we want to use Versal through CLI. And here is the project that I want to deploy. And actually, as you can see, this is a to-do list, where we can select some to-dos, filter them and so on, but it is built with Angular. Actually, I could make it with React or Vue, it will work just fine, but I wanted to show you an Angular version. It doesn't really make any difference. So our first step here is to install Versal CLI tool on our machine. And for this we are writing npm install minus global Versal and we are hitting enter. After installation we can simply write Versal in the root of the project that we want to deploy. And as you can see here I am getting a question set up and deploy projects Monster Lessons Academy. This is exactly my folder. I am hitting here yes and it asks me what scope do you want to deploy to. And if you just created your account, you have just a single scope, and this is my scope. I'm hitting enter, and we're getting the next question. Do we have a link to existing project? No, we don't. We didn't create a project yet. One more question is what's the name of the project? In our case, it is to do list. I'm hitting here enter, and we must provide in what directory our code is located. Most importantly here for Versal, we should provide our root directory and not our build directory like with other tools. This is why here, as you can see, I must write dot slash and not some other folder. I'm hitting here enter, and the project started to upload. As you can see, we are getting a bunch of settings. First of all here, auto detected a project settings of Angular, because I have an Angular project, build command ng build, this is totally fine. 
development command is ng-surf with port and install command yarn install pnpm or npm install and output directory is this. And as you can see here, we can modify the settings if they are wrong. Typically with Versal, all the settings will be correct. This is why here we can simply hit no. And now the deployment of our project is started. As you can see here directly, we got a link to inspect the building process. We can jump here and as you can see, this is what is building now. We can see here the environment, the duration, the status, and we can see logs, like all building logs that are happening here. As you can see here, now we see the production URL to do list 5 henaversalapp And I can open this link and this is exactly my project that was deployed. I can type something here and everything is working. Because essentially Versal built our Angular, got index.html file, all CSS and all JavaScript, bundled it together and deployed to Versal service. And it happens in a matter of minutes without any additional knowledge of setting up servers. So as you can see, deploy to Versal is extremely easy and I highly recommend you to use Versal on the free tier. And actually, if you're interested to know what is Vid or how to use it to speed up your development process, make sure to check this video also.